Hi, I'm Leo Rodriguez, a software developer here at 352, and today we'll be talking about the value of a detailed stand-up. Yesterday, I worked on some stuff. Today, I work on some more stuff. What if your stand-up sounded like that? It wouldn't be very useful, would it? But it actually may be sounding like that, if not done properly. Here's a couple of bad examples. I have a story called employee logs into the system. If I say yesterday I worked on the employee logs into the system story and today I'll continue working on that story, even though it's a one step better because I actually referred to a story, it still didn't provide much status of it. What about the story? I, I still don't know anything. Variations of bad examples are adding fluff to what you're saying. Uh, and particularly classic ones are iterating the rules of, of Scrum or stand up, saying things like, today I'll pull more items from the backlog as prioritized by the product owner. It's a correct statement, however, you're still not really saying anything. Or, I will help my team close stories. Yeah, you should do that, but which stories, right? Um, so we have to remember why we do the stand-up. If you finish your stand-up and people still don't have an idea of the completion of the story, the status, uh, details about what each team member is working on, and the overall direction, then there's something wrong. A couple of key things to remember about stand-ups are transparency, progress of the stories, and removal of uh, roadblocks. Roadblocks can be hidden, and if you add detail to your story, you may say, I was working on this uh, certain algorithm and I had such and such difficulty, I had to look some things up, I didn't quite remember how to do it. Another developer may actually jump in and say, I remember exactly how to do that, get with me, right after the stand up, we'll fix it. It's a hidden roadblock removed. So you're pairing, you have many concepts going into it. Uh, so you have to remember that. And uh, here's, here's how to fix it. Here's a better way. You plan ahead so that your stand-ups are consistent between the previous day, today, and the next. You have to be following a roadmap. And pretty much your backlog is your roadmap. Uh, listen to what others are saying. That's where the Scrum Master is very important and the team members can actually help. If you hear things that sound vague, just ask for clarification. Ask which story that refers to. And you try to clarify with the team and remove uh, that, that sort of roadblock uh, as a team. And finally, speak with your backlog or to your backlog. Uh, most of the times you should be referring to stories, tasks, or items in the backlog and providing a sense of, of status, an expectation of when you should complete what you're working on. Uh, so finally, Using the same employee logs into the system story, here's a better example of what it could sound like. Grabbing my red marker here. Okay, so yesterday I worked on the employee logs into the system story and I hooked up the membership provider to use Active Directory. That was a goal for the story, that's done. I also encrypted the main password in the web config. So if anybody has any trouble uh, using, uh, finding that password, uh, come to me. I'll tell you how to de-encrypt it and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, today, or until my next stand-up, I will now work on the login logic to tie everything together and make it available for, for my views or my, my front end to actually use the, log, the logic and log in. And I know John just mentioned uh, he was wrapping up the design and he will be working on the front end to actually use the, the logic that I'll be providing. Uh, so we actually expect this story to be completed today. So something like that provides a much better sense of, of progress. We actually said we expect this to complete today. Uh, much more detailed, not too much, but just enough detail to keep everybody uh, with a good understanding of where the stories stand in the backlog. 
that's it. That's, that's how you fix it. Um, so please uh, subscribe to our 352 Inc. channel on YouTube for more videos like this. Thank you.